Hello and welcome back. We'll pick up where we left off last lab by making further edits to our frequency table. Remember that we've downloaded an APA template, but unfortunately we still need to tweak our frequency table to get it into precise APA format. So let's run a frequency table on education in three categories, which is where we ended our last uh, lab video. All right, our variable education in three categories is already populated into the variable pane here, so we'll go ahead and click OK. All right, so this is the output uh, from our APA template, and we need to make a few further tweaks to this to, uh, to this uh, frequency table to bring it up to APA standards. So the first thing we're going to do is double click to activate the editor. So double click, and then double click the title here, and we're going to change the title to Education in Three Categories. Now we want to add a footnote to the title that lists the source for this data. So we're going to right click after highlighting the title and we're going to choose insert footnote and we're going to type the national election study of 2008. All right, so we have the title changed, and then it points us to the data source. Next, we're going to double click on the column headers and change these. So double click on frequency. We're just going to change that to F. And then double click on valid percent. We're just going to change that to the percent sign. And then double click on cumulative percent. And we're going to change that to QM percent. All right, remember that we're only interested in the valid percent or the percentage of actual responses, not the missing data. So let's delete the percent column from this table here. So we highlight the percent column and then right click and we should be able to delete that column. There we go. Next we want to omit the missing row and the second totals row because it's redundant here. So we want to highlight the missing row and then also the totals row. So highlight those two rows, right click, and then choose delete. Now we want to omit the valid in the left column. So highlight the valid and right click, right click and we'll delete that. And lastly, we want to enable the left column, the categories of our variable in this case, education categories, to be visible. So right click on the left column header and choose view dimension label. So show dimension label. And the default is a really long uh, label, but we're going to edit that down to simply categories of X. So just type in X and that will shrink our table back down to size. Now we want to edit this column header here. We're going to choose the X column and we're going to open up the cell properties. And under alignment, the alignment and margins tab, we're going to center that column header and make sure the vertical alignment is switched to bottom. We'll apply that and click OK and you should be set to go. So very good, now your frequency table is ready to be copied and pasted into a homework assignment or publication. You're doing fantastic, students. 
We have a good understanding now of univariate distributions, and we're going to move on to z-scores, theoretical probability, and the normal distribution. We'll see you soon.